So, why aren't you making significant gains at the gym? Well, there could be a number of reasons why. So let's go through some of the basic reasons of what could be happening with you. One, we always go back to diet and nutrition. First off, we don't know if your diet and nutrition is in check. We want to make sure you get enough protein, enough carbs to fuel that workout, and enough fats too as well, your macros. If this is in check, we want to look at another thing, and that's sleep. If you're not getting a proper amount of sleep every night, you're not going to make those gains in the gym. When do you think that we recharge and our body rebuilds itself? It's at night when you're sleeping, okay? So you want to make sure that sleep is there too as well. The next thing, proper activity or training. I see this all the time where people are not doing the right things that they need to do training wise or activity wise to get them the results or the gains that they want. Just an example, if we want to make good gains, let's say in our biceps or in our body to build more muscle, you can't just do cardio every day and think that you're going to gain muscle that way. We got to do some sort of weight training to lift in there, right? So these are some basic foundations, right? Every time that I talk about this or any sort of results or gains, I always go back to diet, right? Which is your nutrition factor, sleep, because we all need it to repair ourselves and we need the right activity or weightlifting regimen. Okay. These are basic ones. Now, after this, if you're doing all these things correctly, if you got these foundations down to a T ready to go, after that, we want to look at some other things. We might need to run some blood testing on you because there could be some hormones that are off in your body. If these hormones are off in your body, you're not going to get the gains that you're looking for or the results that you're looking for. It doesn't have to be a whole, whole bunch of muscle just getting built. You just want to look better, more toned, feel better, more energy. And these things just aren't happening. And you're wondering why. You're thinking, back when I was 20 years old, I could do this, 
It wasn't a problem. I did these exact same things and I got awesome results and awesome gains, but it's just not happening. And why? This is where we go back to blood testing, making sure everything's working like it should be optimally so that your body is getting the best it possibly can and it will get results in the gains that you want. So make sure you get the three pillars down, diet, which is your nutrition, sleep, and your activity or weightlifting program down pat. After that, if that's not happening, then you need to call or contact us today. 727-389-3220. We'll take a look at your hormones and these other panels in your body and make sure you guys get the gains and results that you're looking for. Contact Titan today, guys. Do you know what the signs of low testosterone are? Do you know what the symptoms are and what to look for? Stay tuned, I'm gonna cover all this for you right now. So, you think you might have low testosterone or you just don't know because you don't know the symptoms or what to look for. So let's break those down so you know exactly what's going on or exactly what to look for to see if you have low testosterone. And then you may want to do a blood test to find out and see if you really do. The first thing, you're going to have low energy. So you're going to get up in your day, no matter how much rest you got the night before, and you're still going to be tired. You're going to ask yourself, why am I tired like this? It's just because I'm getting older, what's going on here? That's one. Two, mental focus or clarity. You're gonna might have some brain fog. I used to call it the walking dead syndrome. I used to have low testosterone myself. I used to get up during the day, just know what I had to do, kind of get through that. And then after that, I kind of went brain dead or down and then was real tired and wanted to go to sleep. So that's the next one, mental clarity and mental focus. That's a big one, right? The next one after that, feeling of motivation. So if you're not really motivated to really want to go out there and conquer things, this can also be a symptom of low testosterone. You might be unmotivated. You might not want to do the things that you used to like to do. They used to give you pleasure. Some people was playing basketball. Some people might have been playing chess. Some girls like to go to the mall. Some things that gave you pleasure. They don't give you pleasure anymore and you just don't know why. And this goes back into circling into depression. Some of us feel like we have depression, we feel down, and we don't know why we feel down. Everything else in life is going good, right? Family's going good, job's going great, but you just don't know why you feel down like this. It just came out of nowhere, you feel out of blue. You go to the doctor and tell them, and they wanna give you antidepressants. This could be low testosterone. And this works for both males and females and all these different symptoms that we're talking about. After that, let's talk about libido, okay? So libido or sexual function, and this works for both males and females as well. So if things aren't working right downstairs or in the bedroom per se, this could also be a sign of low testosterone. And you might think, oh, my libido is good, right? But things could still be off. 
and you just don't know it yet because you don't even know what that feeling feels like anymore. And we don't want you to feel like that. You should want to feel your best. Other things like cholesterol, cardiovascular, all these different things go a part of low testosterone. So if you want to make sure that you have the best possible quality of life and that all these symptoms go away, I would really recommend for you guys to get a blood test to figure out if you have low testosterone. And if you do, you guys can make the educated decision to see, hey, do I want to fix this and improve my quality of life or want to not fix this and keep going along the way that I'm going? You're probably going to say, I want to fix this. So don't delay, call or contact us today, 727-389-3220. Tight Medical Center can help you guys get back on track and feeling like you should be, like a million bucks, like a true Titan. Titan strong all day, every day. So we're gonna go get a, a formal workout in the Titan Lounge, Olympus Lounge right now. And um, you know, always before my workouts or any strenuous activity, I'm always doing Hercules Potion. All right, it is my go-to. It's one thing you'll hear me talk about all the time. And you know, like we offer testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy, all these great things, right? Well, you know, absolutely. Hormones need to be balanced, need to be optimized and within a great range um, and healthy range. So at that point, what I wanna do is, is talk about how this can help somebody that doesn't have hormone issues or problems. And it can benefit them even if they do and they're taking hormone replacement therapy. And here you're getting glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, alcitrulline, proline, taurine, NAC, and L-carnitine. So you're getting a lot of bang for the buck there. You know, you're getting something that's gonna help you with recovery, it's gonna help you with more strenuous activity, it's gonna help you with muscle pump, vasodilation, uh, blood flow, it's gonna help you with lubricating the joint areas, it's gonna have some sort of liver protection in there. Um, it's got a lot of different bunch of things that it can do for you um, to benefit you. Now, if you want more instant gratification in a muscle or lagging area, that's when you can spot inject it in those areas. So what you wanna do is, is you're gonna pick the areas you're gonna inject. Now today I'm gonna to inject my chest right off the bat. So I'm gonna go bilaterally, that means I'm gonna do both of them for you guys, to show you guys how to inject this stuff in these areas. So what I'm gonna do is first, with this effect, I pick the spot where I'm gonna go, and you always wanna flex, and you can kind of see the center of the muscle. So you know where the center of the muscle is. So that's where I'm gonna go because when you inject in the center of the muscle, it disperses properly and evenly throughout the muscle. We're gonna start here and don't go back and forth. Pick the center, start a circle, push out in the circle. And what you're doing is, is you're pushing all the germs and bacteria away from it. You're not wiping it back and forth over it, okay? So we're gonna pick the first one, decap the needle, make sure there's no no air bubbles in there and you can do that beforehand if there's little ones in there they're not going to kill you that's only true if it goes into a vein if you get air into a vein so you're good to go so you're going to pick the area center right here. and you're going to go straight in okay no delay it doesn't hurt you're not going to hurt hit your heart or anything like that okay and you're going to go straight out no deal start out. all right good nice and clean you want to let it sit on there for like 10 to 15 seconds. Let it dry a little. Um, the reason is it's not going to hurt you, but if you you know you put a needle in your skin, you're puncturing your skin. What could happen is you might push a little bit of alcohol in there, and it might sting a little bit. Not going to be harmful or hurtful at all. Uh, it's not even going to hurt that bad. It's just you might sting a little bit for a couple seconds. Decapping this. And we're gonna go right in, straight in. It goes right in, it's real smooth. These are very little needles. Done? What you wanna do is, you want it relaxed. You want your arms relaxed. So what I would do is, I'd, I'd lay my arms just straight right here, right? And then I'll pick a, a, an area. And like I said, you really wanna go, and everybody's biceps or muscles could be a little bit different. So where's your center of the muscle of your, your, you know, your bicep? Right there for me, okay? And then I can pick a spot. Okay. I'm gonna go straight in. Right out. That easy. Switch around to the other side. Like butter. 
do your head of your tricep. That is your official tutorial for Hercules Potion. So you guys understand where it can go, what you can do with it, how it's used and what's in it. So I'm gonna go get pumped, Hercules Potion pumped, all right, Titan Lifestyle, uh, right now over in the Titan Lounge. If you guys wanna know more about this therapy or wanna become a patient and use this therapy, call or text us 727-389-3220. Also check out the website, titanmedicalcenter.com. We're here for you guys, we love you guys and check out Hercules Potion. I know you're gonna love it just like I do. So the first official workout in Olympus Lounge, Titans Lounge, was a super success. And of course, we gotta thank Hercules Potion for giving us that awesome pump, strength and endurance to get through this little session we had here. Amazing, I mean, we're pretty good by ourselves, yeah. but this is just adding a whole new thing to it. So if you guys haven't checked out Hercules Potion, check it out. What do you think, Drew? I think it's great, the gym's great, the equipment's real smooth. It's actually smoother than the, oh, yeah. than the gyms that I go to, so it's less elbow pain, but I can't wait till everything gets settled in. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get the TVs on the wall, we're gonna get the smoothie thing over there, maybe some pictures, some artwork, so I'm really oh, yeah. excited about this gym, guys. Olympus Lounge coming soon. That's First right. workout was great, can't wait to get another right. one. So thanks to Hercules Potion, thank you guys for tuning in. You guys stay tuned, we're gonna have a whole bunch of new content coming from here, and uh, a lot more visitors and special guests probably. Oh yeah, big things. Oh yeah. Later, guys. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. So Cupid's Corner, if you guys are just tuning in for the first time, covers things that are going to help you guys excel, get tips, tricks, and hopefully some info that's going to help you in your relationship currently, or if you're not in a relationship, your future relationship or future partnership or whatever you want to call it nowadays. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> at that point, we're going to give you some advice that maybe me and Sharice have went through, we've observed, or we've got from other people that have been successful in these different areas. Um, we know that everybody is in a relationship of some type out there, right? Even if they're in a relationship with themselves. So, you know, you just, <laughs> you learn from a lot of mistakes that you make along the way, but if you can get a cheat sheet to really help you out, maybe uh, give you some of those answers before you make those problematic decisions that maybe it'll help you guys and make you a happier, um, fulfilled person, right? Happier, healthier person. Happier, healthier yeah. person. Yes, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, That's yeah. good. That's like right that. out of his mouth. He I just like doesn't that. realize it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this week we're going to cover something you guys should probably look for in the relationship before it gets too serious, right? Because, you know, relationships start out hot and heavy for a lot of different reasons. This could be on looks, this could be on intelligence, right time, right place, who knows, right? A lot of different relationships, especially nowadays, um, the way they start can start in a number of different ways out there. Mm -hmm. um, and infatuation can set in in the beginning and at that point you kind of look past everything else and then after that infatuation kind of goes down and you really start conversating and talking and uh, you know spending a lot more time together, you're gonna come across some different things. Um, and then at that point, you want to think about taking this relationship further. So when you're thinking about taking this relationship further, there's probably some different questions that you're probably going to want to ask your partner and get the answers from because it might be a deal breaker on your side or a deal breaker on their side. And you just don't know which side you really unless you really don't talk know. about it. And right? um, I guess the question before you bring it up is, 
going to be how do you pull it out of them? So I think it's just general, general conversations when you pull it out of them. It's nothing like you go to them like, hey, listen, like, for example, what we we're going to talk about today was having the same morals, ethics, and values. So, you know, this is this is a pretty serious topic with right. You just like you're just having dinner with somebody and eating, you know, a little steak, having a mimosa or something, and be like, "Hey, so just real quick, while while we, while we have this wonderful dinner, can you please tell me what your what your morals and values are? Because we want to make sure they're aligned. So, you know, God forbid we don't agree ten years from now. That I don't know if there's some things you just there's some things that people are just set in stone about yeah. and you're not going to change their mind. Okay. And then I guess, you know, over time things change, you might be able to mold them into at least meeting so you at a halfway point. Yeah. Right. But there's still some things that are just set in stone that are just not going to change. Right. This is true. This I is mean, very true. We won't get into politics or anything, but... It's a whole different animal, uh, especially <laughs> nowadays. Right. You know, people are fighting, hurting each other over this. Um, but, no, but I, I do agree. And, you know, what is the right time or what is the right way? I don't think there's really a right answer for that. But I do think that, you know, when you're starting the relationship, when you're starting to spend time with people, you kind of see a little bit, but you don't see everything because it, it might be that front still. Mm -hmm. But when that front comes down, you kind of see who that person is or how they handle situations. And that kind of sets a tone of, you know, what they do, like morals, ethics, and values, or what they might say to people. You know, honestly, now I'm kind of thinking about it. So, you know, I really feel like whenever you are having these conversations with your significant other, new significant other, even your current significant other, old significant other, whatever you want to call it, um, there is most certainly a way to present things to where they talk to you you know yeah. so it's not such a shallow conversation or an it's interrogation not, right or an interrogation you know yeah. but kind of just open up the doors and maybe even ask questions you don't have to ask questions in an interrogative style i'm very interrogative however not everybody can handle that type of behavior you know john john handles me well this, this works out great Thank God. <laughs> somebody could handle me yay god has sent me a blessing a man that can handle me it's great thank goodness for giving me patience <laughs> thank goodness um but you know i think there's definitely a setting where you you're able to open up dialogue right open yeah. up dialogue and be able to talk to each other yeah. and you know be like what's your thought on this it's always the open-ended questions you know um and if you're talking if you continue talking and you just keep talking usually you're not going to be able to hear anything your significant other is saying so mm -hmm. you can talk x amount but then allow your significant other to speak as well or you'll never get to hear their end or yeah. Really be able to process it. And don't bite their head off when they say it. If they say something you don't like, I mean, it is what it is. They probably won't share anything else with you at that mm -hmm. point. But, you know, there's there's some other topics, too. So, I mean, or morals, ethics, and values, you know, what do you guys think about it? What do you guys think your kids should be doing growing up? How they should they be acting? You know, such like that. I mean, we could, I, I'll, I'll use an example. You know, I like using real-life examples. Sure. So, um, John, right, he went to military school. And, no, he did not go to military school because he was bad, if you can believe that or not. Um, he chose to go to military school on his own. I've never heard of this, I swear. I even confirmed with his parents. I'm like, this is crazy. Nobody actually goes to military school because they want to, right? It's usually because you're a bad child and you get tossed into military school because you're bad. I like structure. Okay, so John went to a very structured school, private school type setting, right? I, however, I grew up in a public school, right? And I went to public school my whole life. I don't know what it's like to be on that side. John did go to public school for one year, yeah. and he, so he kind of knows what it's like on this side, but we now have our child, and now we have to say, okay, do we want our kid to go to public school, or do we want our kid to go to private school? John obviously wants Peter, our son, wants him to go to private school. I, on the other hand, wanted, <laughs> we're gonna use past tense, wanted him <laughs> to go to public school, and it's only because I wanted him to get very well versed and understand the real world, not saying that in private school you're not gonna get that. But, you know, in my opinion, I feel like, you know, there might be things you can experience in public school that you might not get to experience in a private setting, which could be good and could be bad, more bad than good. Nowadays, um, for sure. <laughs> nowadays, for sure. But this is just a really good, it's a great example because this could be a very serious problem 
that you guys might be not saying it's a deal breaker you guys are gonna have a divorce over it yeah i mean but it, it could be a pretty big problem if you guys are not going to agree on yeah. this because one person might be he might be really stuck and be like no listen to me the kid is going to private school i went to private school i went to military school he might even be like hey i'm shipping the kid off to military school i'm be like no the kid isn't going to military school i want the child here so there's an abundance of examples, but that one actually is probably the most recent example that comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what it is. I mean, you want your, your kids to have manners, per se. You know, you teach them to have manners. There's people out there that don't teach their kids to have manners, um, or they don't have manners themselves. And at that point, it reflects, you know, who they are to a certain extent. Um, these things are, you know, they're, they're, they can, like I said, they can be deal breakers. You know, as long as nobody's hurting anybody, it really doesn't matter if you agree with it or not. It's totally up to them on how they want to live their life. And if you agree with it and you want to be a part of that, that's totally on you, right? Um, but, you know, the other thing is, is that, you know, I mean, things like, let's say you got in a relationship with somebody and you really want to have kids and the other person really doesn't want to have kids. This could be a serious deal breaker, right? And these are things that need to be talked about, not in the first date, not in the first meeting <laughs> date, but when you guys start getting a little bit more serious, let's say, and you guys are really talking about going more of a distance, at that point, we're going to say, hey, listen, well, this might not be what I want, right? right. And, and you can't think that you're just going to change that person's mind or change the way they think or change the way they were raised. Um, in some instances, if the person wants to change, they could. Yeah. But in most instances, they're probably not going to. So... Um, at that point, you know, this is just something to think about. It's important, right? Right? It is important. If you're already in a relationship, you've been in a relationship. Then you should probably get the information out now. Or you, you probably go, already know. Go down, go down the list, right? Go through, you know, the, the children, and and then religion, and then the oh, next thing, and the next thing. You know, one. you can leave politics world. for last because listen, I don't do politics. Yeah. I don't really. It's irrelevant to yeah. me. But you know, just maybe go down the line a little bit and make sure that you guys all align. And just remember, guys, one thing I can say is that you know over time things change so you can agree on something in the beginning it's going to be this perfect world white picket fence and then all of a sudden it changes into something totally different you might have different factors that flow into your life that you did not expect um good or bad you know um and just you know just kind of go with the flow but i do think that the ground morals should definitely be established Absolutely. So <laughs> this is another awesome show of Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We're here every Sunday on ABC for you guys, 11 a.m. And don't worry, if you didn't DVR it, which you can, don't worry about it. Go to YouTube. You guys can check it out at Tight Medical Center. Just type that in. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the all notification bell. Make sure you guys are checking out our social media too as well. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. And any other good ones that are going to be coming about here very shortly. So we appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank you for your support. And we'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.